The Ute and Comanche Indians were the earliest residents along the Arkansas River. The Fort Pueblo trading post once stood proudly on its banks. In the late 1800s, Pueblo was the largest town in the Colorado Territory, owing its success to the railroad and steel industries. Up-and-coming railroad companies made Pueblo a hub, creating the Pueblo Union Depot, still located along the Arkansas River. Pueblo was struck with disaster in the summer of 1921 when a massive storm caused the Arkansas River to flood Union Avenue. The entire main business district was wiped out. In true Pueblo spirit, the city refused to give up. Throughout the Great Depression, shop owners stuck together and helped rebuild the downtown business district. At the start of World War II, Pueblo began to experience another growth spurt. In the early 1940s, American troops were at the height of World War II. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers acquired over 25,000 acres of land on the eastern side of Pueblo to construct hundreds of general-purpose igloo-style warehouses for storage. By the early 1950s, the mission of these warehouses changed to maintenance of combat materials, reconditioning of combat vehicles, and ammunition renovation and demilitarization. The level of activity continued to increase, including the stockpile of chemical weapons. The depot reached its maximum level of 8,000 employees during this time. The demand for workers was so high that at one point, 1,000 people were hired in one day. The depot's mission continually changed with world events from a missile repair and maintenance facility in the 1960s to hosting Soviet leaders to witness the destruction of the last Pershing missiles in the 1980s. However, in the 1990s, as part of Operation Desert Storm, the depot once again shipped supplies to American troops. The Pueblo Chemical Depot is one of eight sites for chemical munition storage in the United States. Under the Chemical Weapons Convention, all stockpiles are required to be destroyed. This is currently underway and scheduled to be completed over the next five years. Today, Pueblo has a thriving business community, home to a world-class convention center. The historic Arkansas Riverwalk has revitalized Union Avenue and the downtown area. Pueblo maintains its roots as a manufacturing and transportation hub with its own commercial airport, I-25, and a state-of-the-art rail system. Pueblo is home to some of the best colleges and hospitals in the state, bringing top professionals to the region. Residents enjoy a safe and affordable place to live with all the benefits of big city living. Pueblo still maintains many of its historic landmarks within these neighborhoods. Several of these have become the social centers of the city where locals can congregate. Pueblo is proud of its creative arts community and is an entertainment destination, hosting events like the Chilean Frijoles Festival, the Symphony, Festival Fridays, and the Colorado State Fair. Pueblo still celebrates its diverse cultural heritage. It has once again become the jewel of Southern Colorado.